the USFL has ended, but are there some players for the Rams to keep an eye on? We're going to get into that before we do. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoy this content. But uh, without further ado, let's dive right into it. All right, so in this video today, we're going to start off our mini series here. I'm going to bring you 10 players from the USFL, from this the league that just ended. That would make sense for the Los Angeles Rams. And we're starting off with number one, a guy you've seen on this channel before, I've interviewed before. It is none other than New Orleans Breakers quarterback and former multiple NFL team quarterback Kyle Sloter. Sloter actually came away with the all USFL quarterback award this season on the USFL team. He represented all quarterbacks and there's a lot of reason as to why. First off, this guy is 28 years old and I do understand that while that does seem older than the rest of the younger quarterbacks in the USFL, uh, there is very good reason why the Rams should consider adding him. When you look at all of his experience in the NFL and what he has done to this point, not really getting an opportunity but he's stayed true to himself he's been humble he's never once complained about anything or put himself out there in negative publicity that's exactly what you want from a backup or a developmental quarterback and furthermore what I would say is it's not just that this guy clearly has talent you look at the fact that he was the best quarterback in the USFL he battled through multiple injuries, including injuries to his shoulder, injuries to his leg, in injuries to his wrist, plenty of injuries. He continued to battle through, basically was told early on in the season that he was probably going to be out for the season, but did not take uh, that lightly. And so he went back out there and led his team to the playoffs, the New Orleans Breakers, who actually ended up falling just short of the final game. Uh, because of his quarterback play now down the stretch obviously things got a little tough and a lot of it came down to the fact that he was playing injured and on top of that the offensive line was not keeping him upright but make no mistake about it Kyle Sloter if you're looking at any quarterback in the USFL for the Rams to go after he is the guy the Rams are familiar going in this direction especially with the spring league uh, you look back back in the day when the AAF was around Arizona Hotshots quarterback John Wolford soon later became the Rams backup quarterback. He is still the backup to this day, and I wouldn't rule it out for the Rams to add another quarterback in-house. So what does Kyle Sloter offer? Well, first off, he offers mobility. And honestly, in this day and age, you got to have mobility at the quarterback position. While he is older, it doesn't go without a doubt mentioning the fact that this guy has plenty of experience. A lot of the time during a lot of the broadcast during the USFL, you would hear things like he's bounced around the NFL 26 different teams. Nobody wanted him, but he's still doing it. I would disagree with that. I think with the young quarterback ecosystem in the NFL, it's incredibly hard to crack open an NFL roster. But when you look at what he possesses, the skills he possesses, and his unlikely story and how he went from Southern Miss as a quarterback, was destined to be the starting quarterback there. And then, of course, what ended up happening is Todd Monken took over, basically put him at the bottom of the depth chart, forced him to basically play wide receiver. That didn't work out. So then he transferred to Northern Colorado. He waited his turn. He succeeded with his turn. He went undrafted and uh, still in preseason ended up putting up some gaudy numbers and really never got an opportunity in the league. We could all look at guys who never got an opportunity. I mean, no one would have known who Kurt Warner was if he didn't get the opportunity. But I mean, there are guys that clearly don't have the talent that Slaughter has that have gotten the opportunity, including former Southern Miss starting quarterback Nick Mullins. And I would also uh, like to mention Jake Fromm, who got an opportunity with the Giants. And pretty much all you need to know about Joe Judge and his confidence in Jake Fromm with the Giants was that on third and at the one yard line, their own one yard line, Joe Judge decided to run a QB sneak on third down instead of actually trying to run a play. That's how confident he was in Jake Fromm. And I could tell you, Kyle Sloter, while playing in the USFL, clearly just needed time to actually put on film. He's been in the NFL for a minute now and hasn't gotten an opportunity to actually play in games. But because he took the opportunity to go out and play on film and actually play in a league, I think that actually benefited him. So why would the Rams want him? OK, this is a guy that obviously we talk about his mobility. We talk about his arm, his accuracy and what he was able to do for a team that he basically had to figure out how to play with uh, a whole brand new you know, slew of teammates and everything, coaching staff. 
and a very, very simple offense that was almost too simplistic, too much for its own good. Kyle Sloter was able to overcome all of that and lead this team to the semifinals. So, what the Rams would be getting and why they should consider Kyle Sloter. First off, they already have experience going out, like I mentioned, going out and getting a quarterback in the spring league. I think this is the right move. You didn't draft anybody and you didn't pick up anybody in UDFA. That was probably the right move. Kyle Sloter is better than any quarterback that just came out of that draft. So in conclusion, you would probably want to go after Sloter for that reason, that reason right off the rip. You're looking at three quarterbacks on the roster. Matthew Stafford, obviously he's fine. He's going to start. No no doubt. Then you have John Wolford, who, if they follow last year's trend, John Wolford did not even play in preseason. You can't have a quarterback play all of preseason. It is an injury risk, and that is Bryce Perkins, who would be playing all of preseason. So I do expect the Rams to add an arm, and I do think that Kyle Sloter would make a lot of sense, but he'd be more than just a camp body. This is somebody I think could really pressure Perkins to make the roster and pressure John Wolford even to make the roster. The Rams are going to have to make a decision, but I think this ultimately is the right move, seeing as Wolford's on a one-year deal, and Bryce Perkins, we don't know how they truly feel long-term until they really tell us another reason very simple reason but another reason here Kyle Sloter if you're going after anybody to try to run this offense and you're getting them late Kyle Sloter already understands the basis of a Sean McVay offense why he worked with John Gruden last year with the Raiders Gruden taught him that really complicated scheme so obviously it was no help at all that he went to the USFL and ran a really simple RPO nearly high school offense with coach Larry Fedora third when you look at what the Rams would look for in a quarterback it's everything Sloter is Sloter plays very similarly to everyone on the Rams roster right now he's got bits and pieces of Stafford he has Perkins mobility and on top of that he has John Wolford's escapability and improvisational skills just like the other two really he is a Rams quarterback and I'm honestly surprised they haven't ever had him in house it makes a lot of sense for him because when you're looking at quarterbacks in this league and obviously with the quarterback ecosystem the way it is it makes a lot of sense to just throw this guy in your system he already knows a very complicated scheme so he's already shown you he can learn something like that he has the natural talent and coaches raved about him enough to basically look over the fact that he threw nine touchdowns and 11 interceptions and look over the fact that his team didn't win the title but still label him as the number one quarterback in the league that was no surprise at all clearly the coaches in the usfl felt very highly of kyle sloter and so much so that is why he became that it's never a bad idea to be prepared stafford's not a guarantee to play every single game for the rest of his five-year contract as sad as that sounds those are the facts he plays a very dangerous game and has dealt with injuries in the past that he's also played through but also not played through just like Sloter, who's also able to play through the pain, that is one of the knocks on him, is that he is coming off a brutalizing season where he didn't have a lot of pressure, and so the argument would be maybe bringing him in might be an issue because of what he is dealing with injury-wise. However, if things check out, he does make the most sense of any quarterback, and I do think you could ultimately be looking at somebody that could be the backup in LA behind Matthew Stafford, and a guy that is definitely ready once he gets Gets his moment I don't see him letting it go that does not mean necessarily that Matthew Stafford would never get his job back Sloter ironically enough has experience with Matthew Stafford as he did play with him for a little bit when he had that short stint in Detroit I do think ultimately while Stafford is on a five-year deal it's very important for the Rams to look towards the future and I think when you look at Kyle Sloter he embodies a lot of what both backup quarterbacks Wolford and Perkins have and more I think his skill set's there. I think he has a big ceiling. And I think ultimately, if he goes back to the right system and he gets that opportunity, he can really make the most of it. That's not to say he's going to take over the job if Stafford were to go down, but it is to say that they might have something special in him if they do give him a chance. Ultimately, I definitely sign off on the idea of going after Kyle Sloter because honestly, at this point in the season, when there's not a lot in free agency, you've already opted not to draft one or sign one in undrafted rookie free agency. It makes a lot of sense to go after a quarterback that's fresh and has already played in the USFL. 
So with that said, he's going to have to pass a physical. He's going to have to show that he is ready. And obviously, if he is not healthy, if he's really banged up from the season, that makes a lot of sense. But that is entirely up to him. And that is entirely up to the training staff. But if they sign off on him, then I definitely think he makes the most sense. And I think he could make preseason a lot of fun, including camp a lot of fun battling out Perkins, likely making Perkins a better player and likely making getting more out of John Wolford. Competition is everything. When you have that good of a room at, at the quarterback position, it can be a breath of fresh air. But put him in a room with Sean McVay and see what happens. I think it, it's very important in this league to be prepared. Obviously, the Packers look at somebody like Jordan Love and hope that he is not going to have to start, but it definitely is a breath of fresh air knowing that they have a guy like Jordan Love to back up Aaron Rodgers. There are other examples you can make all over the league, but I do think that Kyle Sloter obviously offers enough where USFL coaches would rave about him, where you still have a lot of fans that are a big fan of him, but also people within the industry that won't stop talking about him. Clearly, there's something there. It's about time he finally gets his opportunity. And while I don't think this is necessarily the best fit for Sloter, and that I do think if given the opportunity, he could absolutely start. And this is probably the furthest from him getting that opportunity with Stafford having a stranglehold on the starting job. When you're talking about just from a Rams perspective, this makes a lot of sense. And if the Rams were interested, I think he would be interested. I think he's already had the experience with Stafford. He has the experience with the offense. Because of McVay's similarities to John Gruden, I think he'd be a great fit. And on top of that, again, John Wolford's contract ends after the year. And Bryce Perkins, we don't know necessarily how the Rams feel about him long term. We know they kept him on the 53 all last year. But how far is long term with Bryce Perkins and with John Wolford? So with that said, again, I sign off on this deal to go after Kyle Sloter from the USFL. I think he showed you a lot with the breakers. I think he showed you a lot in his preseason efforts, and I'd like to see him play more preseason football this season at Horns. If you like what you heard, be sure to like and subscribe and comment. Let me know what your thoughts are about going out and getting Kyle Sloter, and uh, we will move on to the next video after this one. That's it for me. You guys take care, and I will see you guys soon. Later.